Subrel Matias is back. He's hitting the pass. He's training again. He's ready. Is he ready? But if he's ready, why won't Eddie Hearn send Tiafima Lopez a contract? Like Tiafima Lopez representative send Subrel Matias a contract when he wasn't ready. Hmm? I think it's time. I mean, look, Subrel Matias, he did took it to the IG that that time when he said it was a perfect, perfect fight, but he was not going to be ready. He was going to be that he would like to fight in March, late March or April. We all know that fight was never going to happen in March because he just started training like what a week ago, hitting the pads, light pads. And it was not going to be in April because, of course, you need a week training camp for, of course, for a guy like Tiafima Lopez. So that would have never happened in April or March. Um, so Tiafima Lopez, you know, should be the one waiting for Subaru Matias because it seems like Subaru Matias and his team doesn't even know when he's really, really going to be ready. But now that Subaru, that, that was the time when Subaru Matias ain't had that major backup. He ain't had that major bag. Now he's secure a multi multi fight deal contract you feel me and bravo for super matias smart move smart move even though he didn't take the he didn't he didn't take t from lopez off but that was a smart move because think about it why was why was super matias manager send super matias to top rank for that one fight unification bout with t from lopez and he beats you then what's gonna happen with super matias career Secure the bag, secure the bag, and also secure the Puerto Rican fan base. And this is why I've always been saying since day one that this fight, that, that Subaru Matias needs, needs to captivate the imagination, the emotions of the Puerto Rican fan base. Bring that Cotto fan base, that Puerto Rican fan base, the Trinidad fan base. That fan base that Amanda Serrano is still holding on because Amanda Serrano, la reina, the queen, the queen, the seventh division world champion, undisputed, she's the one that's holding the Puerto Rican fan base in the New York Ricans, the Island Ricans. She's holding it down. Porque no hay un hombre que la puede ayudar a ella. ¿A dónde están los hombres, ah? ¿A dónde están Suprema Tía, Siega Balanga, Esen Desayas? Ayuda a esa mujer. Ayuda a esa mujer. <laughs> nah, my, it's just, just joking around. Shout out to Ega Balanga. Shout out to Zan Desayas. Shout out to all the Puerto Rican fighters, right? But... Since we don't really know when Subrema T is going to be ready, 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 but he got the backup now, and Eddie Hearn is working with top rank, is working with Bob Arum. Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn, top rank match, whom they did the uh, 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 Callum Smith versus Baturbiev. I think, I, I think they could, everybody's working together. So Eddie Hearn, who also said that he wants T. Fima Lopez to fight Subrema T, stop talking and send the contract. At least we know. We know, looking at Tiff Lopez's resume, that he's about that life. He's about that work. He's about the accomplishment. The resume speaks for itself. Ustedes pueden decir, o ya que say, oh, that, that, he, he's talking, he's talking. This guy talk, this one caps, this one. No, 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 no. If you see Tiff Lopez's resume compared to a lot of people's resume, you know that he's no capper. You know he ain't lying. Is the reason why he's a two lineal champion. Do you know what two lineal means? I'm so, I, for, for the people that probably don't know, two lineal, the lineal belt means that you beat the man, that you are the man because you beat the man. Not everybody get handed a lineal championship belt. So Subram Matias, you know what I'm saying? He's passing the eye test. Subram Matias is passing the eye test, but he still have not fought any champion, any gatekeeper, any noticeable name, any elite fighter, but he's looking good. He's more perception than the it factor. But it's good. You know, I'd rather, I'd ra I'd rather hype fighters than devalue fighters. But when we're going to compare some uh, compare fighters and, and compare accomplishment, T. F. Lopez is in a different world in terms of accomplishment and resume. We could agree on that, right? Um, but it's a good fight. Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rico, New York, Brooklyn. Tio, Matias, Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh my God, it's huge, big, right? But will Eddie Hearn send the contract to Tiafima Lopez? And if it's that big, right? Pause. If it's that big of an event, then a co promotion, a co, a, a, a co promotion, you know what I'm saying, fight will be good. The zone top, um, top rank or whatever. But in all reality, 
even if Subriel Matias was physically ready, his team is not ready. I don't think so because Eddie Hearn would have signed the contract already. Um, I think he's not ready. And to be honest, maybe the whole fight is not ready. Because if we think that it could be that big, and I'm going to say it again like I said since day one, because people may think, oh, my God, punch, turtle. yo, you are a hater of Super Matias. I'm not a hater of Super Matias, mother efforts. When I, when I did the code, the code, when, when, when Mill City invited me to do the interview with him with Super Matias, I told Super Matias, you got to call out people. You got to call, you got to talk. And even Super Matias that wasn't in this character said what he needs to do to wear a, a, una, 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 una macara de payaso. Uh, 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 you know, a mask of, of, of a clown. And I said, yo, that's what you got to do because it's going to be easy for people to duck you if you don't call people out. It's easy to push you to the side. They did that to the Maison Dre. It's easy to push you to a side. They're doing that to Boost Ennis. It's easy. If you're going to stay shut, it's easy to push you to a side. So then after his last fight, he called out everybody, called out T from Lopez Unco out of there. That's what I'm like, okay. But you called out all these people, but you called the guy that's proven the most of this young generation, the coward. And then that same coward that you called the coward saying you a contract, not Tank, not Tank, not Ryan, not Devin, not Regis, not nobody, but Tiafim Lopez. But that's the guy that y'all rather disrespect. Y'all supposed to be like, you know what? And the Suprema Tia's fan should be like this. Like, Diablo, man. Yo, T from Lopez tiene cojones to send him a contract. But y'all didn't see it like that. Why y'all didn't see it like that? Because he caught y'all off guard. Eso como un tipo de la calle que te dice, a dude in the, in the street that be like, Hey, yo, what's good? What's good? Let's fight. What you gonna do? Come outside, yo. Come outside when you in the club. Hey, yo, come outside. Come outside. And then you come outside. He be like, I'm... Hey, yo, I know that he was going to come outside right now. But you know what I'm saying? If we could meet up in June, you know what I'm saying? When I'm ready. Come on, y'all. Come on. That's supposed to respect them. Respect them for that. You don't got to be a fan, but you got to respect it. But anyway. Eddie Hearn, if you really want the fight, send the fight. If you don't, and Subray Matias is not ready for Tiafima Lopez, then maybe they should just quiet down. Y'all don't need the fight, y'all. Y'all don't want the fight. Because we all know. That Subra Matias still have not captivated the imagination, the emotions of the Puerto Rican fan base. And that's what they need to do so they could, the money they invested in Subra Matias so they could get it back. See, his team need to get that money back as well. You feel me? So the plan is, of course, get a get an easy, another easy fight like he's been having his whole career. Another easy fight that you could just knock out. Wait, vamos! Bori, Bori, Qua Carolina! San Juan, Bayamón, Aguadilla! Puerto Rico! Right? Rather than Puerto Rico, I'd I, I, I rather have it in New York City, but do it in Puerto Rico or New York City, whatever. Gotta be, it, it, that's it. Super Matias only gotta fight in, in New York City or, or Puerto Rico. That's it. All his fights. Just make, just, just gather that fan base. Beat this, whatever it's Liam Pyro or whoever. Then in in um September or November, make sure it's no you you gotta just make the fight with um Richards and Hitchens. Make the fight with Richards and Hitchens. Um and in New York City, he's from Brooklyn. And, and then do it right there. Knock out Richardson Hitchens. And then we go into June, June 225, 2025, Tiafima Lopez. And let Tiafima Lopez win his fights, upcoming fights. You know what I'm saying? And then 2025, after those great performances by, by, by Subra Matias, I'm just predicting he'll have great performances. He'll captivate the imagination, the emotions of the, of the Puerto Rican fan base and the New York fan base and the Latinos, Latinos Unidos. That's why it's so beautiful, this fight, right? <laughs> And then we go to 2025 and 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 be the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Sell out Madison Square Garden. That's it. Subir Matias un guerrero. Subir Matias is a warrior. Subir Matias is a, uh, is needed in the sport of boxing. His style was fantastic for for TV. And T from Lopez has been a fantastic fighter. We all know that the styles make fights. The style make fights. The style of Subra Matias, he's not gonna be running like like Jermaine Ortiz. So 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 um, 
So Tiafim Lopez is not looking to go to a marathon. He's looking to go into a fight. So Ben Matia said himself that he's not going to outbox Tiafim Lopez. That he is going to, it's either he, either he knocks him out or he gets knocked out. That's just his style. At 32 years old, it's not going to change. So Ben Matia can't fight backwards, right? Um, I think this is a great style matchup. Um, I think if it goes Tiafim Lopez way, it will look like Tiafim Lopez, it will, it will look like Flo Mayweather versus Gotti, Right? If it goes here from Lopez way, if it goes Matias way, it will probably look like uh, Ricardo Mayorga versus Forrest, or let's say, um, um, I mean that's the only that that's the one that I could think of right now that it will go that way. If it go if it, if it goes um, um, Matias way, I could see it like that. I could see this fight. Resembling maybe a, a, a Winky Wright and a Fernando Vargas if it's a tit for tat, it's a close fight as well. You know what I'm saying? I could see this fight like uh, the Keith Thurman and Porter. I could see this fight like Keith Thurman and Porter. That close, right? The boxer puncher and the mover like Teofimo Lopez, right? That could move, that could be athletic. And then you got the aggressor. I mean, like, you know, Matisse is not that that aggressive like that, like uh, uh, Sean Porter, but a come for a fire. You understand what I'm trying to say? I think it could be a great fight, a close fight. If it goes one way, I could see it like Floyd beating Gotti. That would be Tio, and Gotti would be Matias. If it goes the other way around, I could see Ricardo Mayorga being Forrester, which in, in, in terms of that, Forrest had the better skills than Mayorga. But, you know, when people say skills, skill, um, skill pay the bills, but in all actuality, the fighter won the fight. It wasn't the boxer. The fighter did. So... Let me know what y'all think. Um, Eddie Hearn sent the contract. There is, I haven't signed a deal with a fighter, right? And Tiafim Lopez is looking for an opponent. So for the people, we already know what Tiafim Lopez, he did that. He he sent the contract once. Now let's pressure Subra Matias to send Tiafim Lopez the contract. How about that? How about that now? Ahora no vengan ustedes diciendo, pero mándale el contrato ahora. ¿Qué dice que mándale el contrato ahora? Ah? Ese tigre ahora que le manda el contrato. So, Red Matias, it's your turn. You a champion, too. You were not a, you, you're not a contender. Huh? You a champion. All right? You got money. You got you got, you got got a team. You got a network. Manda ese contrato a Tiffany Lopez a ver si es verdad ahora. Vamos a ver quién, quién es el cobarde. <laughs> Ninguno so cobarde. They both fighters. I love both of them is good. I got T.O. I got T.O., though. But Subra Matias is needed in the sport of boxing. It'll be a hell of a fight in New York City, Madison Square Garden, my city. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Tio. Let's go, Matias.